Hey, what's up guys? Jakey here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Odin Gaming Andromeda Pro mousepad. This was sent out to me by Odin Gaming for review. Um, I got it a little bit early and I've been playing with it for around a week now on Valorant and CS2. So yeah, if you guys want to pick up this mousepad, it's retailing currently for $45 USD. But if you guys use my affiliate link in the description below and use code Jakey at checkout, you guys will actually get an additional 10% discount on this mousepad. So if you guys want to check this out, then uh, feel free to use that code. This is not a sponsored video. This was just sent out for review. So I'm going to just take a look at it and give you guys my overall thoughts after a week of using it in both Valorant and CS2. So going over the dimensions of the mouse pad, this mouse pad is 490 by 420 millimeters and the thickness is 4 millimeters, which is exactly the same as an Artisan Extra Large. Speaking of that, I'm going to be comparing this mouse pad to my Artisan Zero Soft a lot because in my opinion, this is pretty much almost identical to my Artisan Zero, um, except for little small differences, which I'll go over in a second. But starting off, it's a complete pour on base uh, and the stick on the table is incredible, just like an Artisan Mouse Pad, where once it's on your table, it will not budge. This is also very similar to the Infinity Mice Mouse Pads as well. So the base here is completely pour on. Once you put it on your table, it is not going anywhere. The thickness of the mouse pad again, like I said, is 4 millimeters. And when I did A-B testing with my Artisan Zero, they're pretty much exactly the same in terms of softness. So I have an Artisan Zero Soft and the Andromeda Pro compared to the Artisan Zero Soft is pretty much identical in terms of squishiness. So if I push down on the mouse pad here, you're going to see that plushness right there that you get on the Artisan Zero Soft. And this is good for people who kind of push down on their mouse pad when they're doing like spray controls and stuff like that. I don't really make use of it. Um, because I don't really push down on my mouse pad like that, so the softness doesn't really matter to me. But in terms of softness, like I said, it is pretty much identical to the Artisan Zero. So in terms of the glide, the Andromeda Pro, in my opinion, is actually smoother than my Artisan Zero. When I have both of them side by side, the Andromeda Pro feels a lot more smooth and with less friction. So in, in both dynamic and static friction where you get the mouse moving and while the mouse is moving, the Andromeda Pro actually feels a little bit faster than my Artisan Zero. And I'm not sure if that's because my Artisan Zero is broken in, like I've been using my Artisan Zero for a while now, so maybe that's why the, my Artisan Zero feels slightly slower than the Andromeda Pro. But the Andromeda Pro feels slightly more smooth and faster than my Artisan Zero. Going over the build quality, the build quality is incredible. Um, it's pretty much on par with Artisan level build quality. The stitching is below the surface, meaning that when you run your finger over the edge of the mouse pad, or even if your mouse goes over the edge of the mouse pad, you're actually not going to feel any of the stitching. Um, it's just going to feel like your mouse is going straight off the mouse pad instead of hitting the stitched edge. This is also great for irritation on your forearms. Some mouse pads, when they have stitched edges that are above the surface, when you're like swiping, you can actually feel the stitching running across your forearm. There's no issue with that on the Andromeda Pro, which is great to see. So the stitching and build quality on the Andromeda Pro is pretty much S tier. Reminds me a lot of like enthusiast level mouse pads like the Artisans. Um, it's just built really, really well. Like I said, the Andromeda Pro is faster than my Zero. So if you've ever used a Zero before, you know that the Artisan Zero is faster than your typical uh, cloth mouse pad. It's a lot faster than the Zowie GSR. It's still a control pad, um, but it's definitely leaning towards the faster side of mouse pads. So with this mouse pad, you're not going to have that much friction when you're, you know, moving your mouse. So that might affect you when you're micro adjusting or even like when you're trying to stop on a dime. It's a little bit harder than your typical control pads, um, but it is great for games that require heavy tracking. So things like Apex Legends, if you're playing Apex Legends, um, Overwatch, where you're playing something that is very track heavy, this mouse pad is very, very good for that just because it's so smooth and you're able to pretty much move your mouse with no resistance whatsoever on the pad. So for tracking heavy games, I feel like this mouse pad would be great. For me personally, since I play a lot of Valorant and CS2, I prefer slower pads like the Zowie GSR, something more on the control side, but I can definitely make the Andromeda Pro work in Valorant and CS2. My performance in those games has been fine this past week as I've been using it, but I have had the feeling where I need to lower my sends. Pretty much as soon as I switched over from the GSR2 to the Andromeda Pro, I almost immediately felt like I had to lower my sensitivity just because this mouse pad feels so much faster than a traditional control pad. So basically, in conclusion, the Andromeda Pro is pretty much just a cheaper version of the Artisan Zero 
with the same like level of build quality and very similar glide as well. So if you're looking for an Artisan Zero but you're not wanting to spend that much on shipping um, or you just don't want to spend that much on a mousepad, the Andromeda Pro is definitely a mousepad that you might want to take a look into. The only thing is, like I said, if you're playing a lot of tack shooters and you prefer a slower, more controlled glide, this probably isn't going to be the pad for you. Like I said, this pad is very smooth and there's very low friction on it. So if you're playing games like Apex Legends, more fast paced, like track heavy games, then this mouse pad is probably going to be perfect for you, to be honest. Like I said, if you've ever used an Artisan Zero, the Andromeda Pro, in my opinion, is slightly faster and slightly more smooth than the Artisan Zero. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Again, shout out to Odin Gaming for sending this out. And if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. But that was my review of the Andromeda Pro mouse pad. Pretty solid mouse pad, but probably not going to be my main one just because, like I said, it's a little bit too fast for me. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.